My name is Chris Donaldson, and in the latest video in the series on how to master real estate math, what we're going to do is to introduce you to what we affectionately call the Donaldson Math Circle. And really, this is the secret sauce, so to speak, of how Donaldson students experience such great success on the math portion of the state real estate exam. And the reason for that is, it's based on algebraic functions, or even t-bars that you may have seen before. And the purpose here is to take dozens of formulas that you may have to remember on the test and combine them into one simple method. So let's take a look at how it works. First and foremost, it's basically just the circle with the t-bar drawn within it. And the secret to the circle is to use it the same way every time. So to use it the same way every time, on the bottom left, we always put the percentage. On the bottom right, we always put the whole amount, or the big number, if you will. And on the top, we always put the part, or the target. And the secret here is that what we're doing is algebra. Because most real estate math is just basic algebra. And it's easy to forget, for instance, a times b equals c. Well, algebra is, I'm going to give you two of these variables, like a and c, and you've got to come up with b. Time and time again, these are the types of mathematical problems you've got to solve to pass the math real estate section on the test. Well, guess what? Let's forget about having to study algebra, and let's just remember one very simple formula. So let's take a look at how it works. And the way we're going to do this is with a normal problem, which is usually of interest to the real estate agent, which is commission. So here we've got the sales price of $100,000, a commission rate of 6%, and a commission of $6,000. And what we're going to show you here is that on the test, they can really ask you three different questions, given two of these and taking away one of them. So let's start with the simple. And that is, what if they give you the sales price and the commission rate? What was your commission? Let's use the circle. We put the part or the percentage always on the bottom left. 0.06, the conversion of a percentage to a decimal. The whole amount here is $100,000. And then whenever you have the bottom two variables within the circle, you simply multiply them together. So 0 0.06 times $100,000, guess what? It gives you the $6,000 we had up here earlier. But let's move on to a different problem you may get on the real estate exam, which is taking away a different variable. So now we have the commission of $6,000, and our commission rate is 6%. What was the sales price? It's easy to try to remember or complicate this by what formula or what am I supposed to do here, when really, remember, you've got the part, and we put the rate always in the bottom left. And when you have the top or the part, and either, either of the two on the bottom, you simply divide. So 6,000 divided by 0 0.06, guess what you're going to get? 100,000. So finally, if we want to remove the variable of the percentage, and say that your sales commission was $6,000, the sales price was $100,000, what was your commission rate? Again, that's another formula to remember, or you simply recall, I put the whole amount of the sales price on the bottom right of the Donaldson circle every time. I put the commission on the top, or the part, on the top of the Donaldson math circle every time. And when I have the top, and then I have a bottom, I simply divide. So if you divide 6,000 by 100,000, guess what you're going to get? 6% because it's going to come out as 0.06 in your calculator. 
So as you can see, the, Donald, the, the Donaldson Mass Circle is one of the best ways to master the real estate portion of the exam because it takes lots and lots, dozens really, of formulas that you may have to remember and combines them into one method. And if you take this one method and you do it the same way every time, I think you will have success on the math portion of the real estate exam.